All right, guys, this is Marco reporting with First Updates Now. We're here at the Plano District event. Uh, we're in the breaks before Elims, and I'm sitting here in 271 Force Pit with Barbecue. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the robots. So this is Noah and Bennett. Uh, Noah, what is your role on the team? I'm the lead design person and uh, in charge of the pit. And I'm the captain of the programming team, and I'm the technician for the team as well. So now you were talking a little bit ago about one of your favorite features on the robot. It's certainly one of the most unique features that we see here in the field. So why don't you talk us a little bit about that? Sure. So at the beginning of the season, um, we looked at the game and looked at a hatch piece and decided that the well, the ideal way to grab it would just be able to go up to it and pick, grab it from anywhere, not have to line up the middle, not have to worry about Velcro, not have to worry about any of that stuff. And so what we decided on was to use some of these uh, uh, suction cups. So we decided to essentially suck the, the hatch off of the, off of the loading station. And these suction cups are really cool. Um, not only are they, uh, they, they, they work pretty well, but they have kind of like a bellows, kind of like flexible feature, so we can approach the hatch from almost any angle, and also we can only we can grab the hatch with one and then just kind of hold it rigid against the, the rest of our intake. And our intake is actually on a, on a wrist, um, so we can, we can manipulate the, the, the game piece really easily. Um, the, the other cool part about this whole system is that is how it's powered, right? Because in, in first, you know, it's, we don't have a, a vacuum generator. So what we do is we built our own. And this, this is really cool. This is one of my favorite parts of the robot. It's a, it's a Neo brushless motor into a 32 DP uh, gear gearbox that runs a, a pretty large pneumatic cylinder on a, on a cam. So basically what we're doing is we're using it in reverse and we're actually pumping the cylinder and that forces air out of the cylinder and creates a vacuum which we then control through a couple of these valves in the back here uh, with some one-way check valves and stuff like that and then we run uh, pneumatic tubing all the way back to the front of the suction cups and that's what allows us to pick up the hatch um, and you know it's a pretty strong grip and it and it's been working pretty reliably cool yeah it's been pretty awesome uh, to see it in display and then Bennett you had talked a little bit about uh, another programming side of things in a really unique way that you guys are using to um, to pick up patch. So let's talk a little bit about that. Thank you, yeah. So one interesting challenge we have this year with the rocket is you have three cargo positions that are all unique from the one before it. And then you also have three more hatch positions. So putting those all on a driver controller for your operator is a lot of buttons. So what we decided to try in programming was use current limiting using the Neo in the Spark maxes to grab the currents of the current draw before and after you've intook a game object. And it actually detects whether or not it has a hatch or a cargo. So when it goes here, it knows that it has a hatch. Or when it goes inside the cargo intake, it knows it has a cargo. So it's very neat. Um, and it really helps the operator not have to worry about pushing the correct one for hatch or cargo. And we're actually using a launch pad to control that as well, which is, I think, a unique way for to use a button box instead. We don't have to make a new button box every year. Instead, you just reprogram the launch pad and use that. Awesome. Well, it's a beautiful machine. You guys are on the number one alliance heading into eliminations here. So best of luck today. Best of luck the rest of the season. Well, I'm sure we see you guys as state champs. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.